Good afternoon. We're here at uh, Cumberland Mine Railroad. We're on the uh, curve 47. This is a curve we did a, in August. We uh, had halter in here and we uh, cribbed out of all these ties. And uh, now we got a shot down here in about a week. We're going to replace this low rail. But I got some rail defects here I wanted to show you. This is pretty serious. It's uh, called a crushed head. There's quite a, a bit of pieces here, and this, this is going to start to, to pull out of there. There's a little ridge in there. So uh, that's one problem with this particular rail here. We're going to replace all this low rail from uh, back there where my tamper's at all the way up to, uh, if you can see that the wayside greaser we have up there, we're going to replace all that, all this low rail. Um, here's another problem with this this rail here it's called so I showed you the crushed head and uh, now this is called can you see this this lip horn here that's called flowed rail you see it's flowed out a good bit and uh, quite a few pieces of uh, rail in this low side have that flowed rail okay um, the rail head is uh, normally about three and a half inches wide. We've got a little bit of curve wear here. It's not real bad. We replaced this rail in 2014. So that's about three inches wide and about one inch high. Maybe an inch and, a, inch and an eighth high, depending on what size rail it is. Over here where this flowed, the height on this is only about three quarters of an inch, so it's had a lot of uh, a lot of wear. It's flowed out, and the uh, the width on it is uh, three and a half inches, so that's all flowing out. So that's why we're replacing this, and uh, wanted to show you that here. Uh, in another week we've got two days shut down and they're going to be coming in here and replacing the 480 foot of rail this rails held up pretty good uh, this is actually original rail if you can see that, it's 132 the rail CC controlled cooled US steel USS US steel Illinois and 1975 and they one two three four five so it was rolled in may of 1975 by united states steel and illinois and uh i'm not sure of the of course they no longer roll rail there i don't even know if they have a plant there or not but <coughs> i think it was granite city but i'm not 100 percent sure on that Let me take you down here and show you something else I've never shown you before. This rail here is flowing over too. You see that lip one there? Right here, I marked this. Never showed you this before. See that? It's got CH and then a series of numbers. I hope you can see that. That's called a, it's hot stamped into the rail. And it's actually called a, uh, a heat number. What I showed you before up there with the uh, date on it, it's called a mill brand. So this is a heat stamp. Let me get down here. Sit down here, maybe I can, you can see that okay. That heat number tells you all kind of stuff. Now, I don't know what the numbers are, but we can call up the mill there and they would tell you. It uh, shows you the uh, furnace number, blast furnace number, and uh, the heat number. It uh, shows you the position of the ingot within the heat. 
and also the position of the rail in the ingot. The CH right there means it's end hardened. So that's something like I said I never showed you before. And uh, so now you want to. Now you know what a uh, heat number is on a rail. A rail identification has two. The uh, mill brand. Some people call it a rail brand. It's uh, usually called the mill brand though. And uh, the heat number. This here is uh, called a battered head. Okay, why this all happened? Why this, uh, of course, it's old rail to start with. You can figure this is 2020, and uh, it was laid here in 19. They started running coal in 1977, so it's seen a lot of use. There's an awful lot of mud here on this low side, an awful lot, and this rail flexed a lot up and down, and uh, pushed it down. You couldn't hold it up, and that. Uh, crushed head up there. Could have been started by an engine burn fracture or something. The wheel slipped and didn't sand or didn't catch it in time. That's what it all started and obviously the uh, the weight of the traffic over the years keeps pounding it down. It's just like uh, hitting a piece of metal and flattening it out. So anyway, we'll get this fixed. This is a, That's probably the worst piece of rail we have on the railroad here right now. Um, it's a nice day out here. I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the uh, rolling of the rail too while I got you here. Uh, right now there's only three companies in the United States that roll rail. Um, Rocky Mountain Steel is in Pueblo, Colorado and uh, they were actually started in 1881. And here we are in Pennsylvania. We do have some uh, rail out here that we bought from Rocky Mountain Steel years ago. But it's no longer Rocky Mountain Steel. It's taken over by a Russian-owned company called Evraz. And uh, they also make uh, car wheels for the railroad cars at that plant. Here's a Another mill brand. This has re replaced this 132 RE Relay VT, and uh, that little symbol right there was for a seller, a seller. I'm not sure I don't know how to pronounce that. A seller, Mittal. It's out of Steelton. They uh, They just call it Steelton now. It's uh, on the stamps on the rail. But uh, that's near Harrisburg. That's where we get most of our uh, rail at right now. The VT stands for vacuum degas. All rail, when it's rolled, is cooled, control cooled or vacuum degas. That prevents a lot of the uh, internal. Uh, defects from happening. So Steelton's still in business. They're owned by uh, a uh, Dutch and India company combined and they're actually the largest steel maker in the world. And the other uh, company that rolls rail is, is called Steel Dynamics. They're in Columbia City. And they were Indiana. And they were uh, established in 1993. And I don't think they roll relay rail. I think they just roll uh, continuous welded rail. Or short CWR. But you probably already knew that. So I hope I've showed you some things here you never knew before. And... Uh, I've got the... We got our pawn seated down yesterday, so I'm going to make another video here sometime this week showing you 
our pond being seed all finished but uh, this is about a 1.75 percent downhill grade here all, are all coming down loads down this hill okay I'm gonna head back and uh, take a shower and get ready to go home I really appreciate you guys watching and I've got a lot of good comments from from a lot of you guys and I really do appreciate that and I'm really really happy that you uh, enjoy watching these it's a part of railroading that a whole lot of people don't get to see so um, hey I did put up uh, two videos in the past on battered heads if you want to check those out too but it's the first one on crushed rail crushed head crushed head and um, first time I showed you a heat number all right have a good day curve 47 Cumberland mine we make it happen here keep the train running Ha, 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 ha.